going on guys Tids world back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna just let the gameplay uh, play itself out right now I'm working on my challenges for my zombies uh, nothing too special I'm just doing headshot challenges right now I think in this video we are uh, don't I'm not 100% sure what we're doing right now oh yeah we're going for the you know specialist challenges so not the headshots I already finished all the headshots with this weapon it was probably it was not it didn't take that took like two games but uh, that's not what we're here came in to talk about. What we, we, what we came here to talk about. Sorry, guys. But uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about things I hate and things, and maybe things I like about Black Ops 4. It depends on how long it takes me to, you know, do the things that I hate. But there's a, there's not a lot of things that I hate about this game. Honestly, this is a really, really good game. At first, I didn't really like it because I was more of a Destiny geek. And I'm still a Destiny geek at heart, but you know what? I already finished everything this week, and you know, it's nothing special. So, I decided to start grinding this game, and I'm actually having fun with it. Uh, I'm going for Dark Matter right now, uh, and we'll get into the reason why I stopped using my SMGs. I finished the, uh, what is that one gun go? The Cordite, and I also finished the Spitfire. Now, the Spitfire was pretty easy to finish, and the Cordite, uh, that thing needs some work. It needs to be, and it, it's damage needs to be buff. I'm just saying that it's such a bad weapon. You just get outgunned by everything. But we'll get in that. To we'll get in that to that to later. Uh, so first off, we're gonna start with specialist. Now there's not a lot of problems I have with specialists, honestly. But uh, torque, torque, I believe, is the guy. Uh, yeah, he has the suppressing shield and also barbed wire now barbed wire I don't have a problem with it's easy to get around I understand the barbed wire is supposed to block doors and shit but I think that they need to rework it and the only thing I really need I think they need to do with it is just make it so it has less health because it takes way too much to get it down I think one clip is fine but it usually takes like one to two clips depending on what weapon you have even with the Corda, it was taking uh, close to two and a half mags, which is not good. Especially since you're going to be so exposed from people seeing you. Now, Purifier. I have no problem with the Specialist, the uh, weapon that you use, but I have a huge problem with Radiation, and I'm sure that everybody else has the problem with this. Uh, but I hate... It has too much range. In the beta, it had little to no range, and then they buffed it, and it had substantially... The most range I've ever seen in my fucking life. That thing was just insane. But uh, now it's it's almost good. It's all it's it's really good right now. It's really potent. And honestly, I'd be okay with the amount of range it does. But I think either they need to do one of the one of the two things that I'm going to say here is make it so the range isn't as amazing. So it it's it's a pretty nutty range. I have a lot of clips that I could show you of me killing people through walls you know getting i got a triple kill on the hard point and i wasn't even in the hard point which is my problem you know it's just it's it has too much range but other than that if they just down down the range then i'm okay with how long it takes you to get your thing back or whatever it, uh, get your heal back because after you get hit with it you can't heal for i think it's like 15 seconds i think it should be down to like maybe seven to ten seconds it's way too much right now and it's just us. Ooh, look at that ma double max ammo. You already know. Uh, right now, I'm just working on the challenges. Yep, it's easy. You know. Ajax, uh, I really don't know what to do about it. But I don't know whose idea it was. The 9 bang does too much. I feel like I'm okay with the stun factor. But I'm not okay with the fact that even if you start to be able to look. And you start to be able to actually see. You have to like you can't aim in so that's a problem I'm okay with that and I'm okay with how long it keeps you blind but what I'm not okay with is is that it comes out way too fast I've been seeing like at least eight get thrown out in one game and it's just horrible if they get the full charge off you're pretty much dead but that's not really the biggest problem I think is if they just made it so you could prone in nine bang because in nine bang you can't do anything other than just spray hit fire and that's pretty much it you can't really move nothing I think they just need to make it so you know you maybe it doesn't last as long or maybe it doesn't come up as fast as fast 
Now the shield that he has, his specialist ability, is the biggest problem I have with. You, if you're in solo, if you're rocking, it's just you and him, and he has the drop on you with that shield. You literally can't do anything with it. You can't throw a cluster bomb at him. You can't war machine him. You can't ruin spike him. You will not win the fight. Just accept the death. Unless you have somebody that's behind him, you might die. You, you if you have someone behind him, you might live. But if you don't, you're pretty much out of luck. So usually when I see that happening, I'm just like, okay, whatever, you killed me, fine. I'm just going to get over it. <laughs> well, not get over it, I'm going to get angry about it. But I'm just going to, you know what, I just accept my death. Nomad. There's only four specialists that I have a problem with. I think every other one of them are pretty balanced and pretty good. I think the best ones, in my opinion, are Crash and... Uh, recon just because you can get so much XP from it and there's a lot of other stuff that it ha that it helps with so I would suggest using those two or maybe even Seraph or Ruin. Ruin's pretty good I don't really have too many problems with Ruin other than the fact that people panic with that thing but understandable you know it's just, it, they've been doing that since you know Black Ops 3 so it's nothing new to me now on to guns now there's not a lot of problems I have with the guns other than the fact that ARs are dominant as fuck if you want to get your SMGs gold, good fucking luck if the entire other lobby is using specialists. Or not specialists, ARs. Because ARs outgun pretty much everything. Literally every AR is top tier. If I had to say which one was the best, it'd be either the ICR or it would be the probably, I'd say, Vapor. The Vapor is really, really good. Now... I play a lot of hardcore very, very recently, so every gun is very viable, but in core, ARs will outgun anything other than maybe LMGs and a shotgun close range. Like, I was getting doing the Cordite Gold, it's probably the most frustrating thing in the world, because I was getting outgunned from as close as that dog was to me, and I would still get outgunned by an ICR or a Vapor or whatever the, the thing is. Now, if they can just make it so... ARs are less potent or make some other guns better like the Cordite definitely needs to get better I think a lot of the weapons are still very good it's just compared to the ARs they are very bad ARs cl are clearly the wave and if you just look at the kill feed you might see one or two LMGs or maybe one every other game you'll see a sniper or a shotgun but most of the time it's ARs and that's the, the biggest problem I have with that other than that a lot of the weapons are very fun to use, and I've enjoyed going for Dark Matter. I'm still going for it. I gave up last night because it was just... I had been spending all, all day on the Cordite, and the Cordite just drained the life out of me. So I switched to ARs just, just for a little bit. I could not do it. Not until they fix ARs I'm, am I going to go for SMGs. But I, I have a feeling they know that S ARs are a little bit too potent. A lot of people have been talking about it, so it's okay. Something's going to happen about it. Now, zombies. We're going to get on to zombies. Now, there's pretty much nothing I have wrong with zombies. A lot of the things are super duper fun. It's such a fun mode. I love it. I'm going for 100% completion on that for sure. I'm almost prestige right now. I think I can check my rank in this game. No, I can't. That's fine, though. We're going to keep the gameplay going. But I am going for all the camo challenges right now, and it's, it's very fun. You know, I'm almost done with the... The Mauser, I think is what it's called. The Mile 45 or something. I don't know what it's called in this game. But whatever pistol I'm using in this intro, that is what I've been going for fairly recently. And uh, there's one more thing I need to get back on multiplayer for. I totally forgot about this. That's my fault. But it's not a it is kind of a huge problem depending on what mode you're playing. But let's get back to zombies. Now, zombies, it's very, very hard to rank up. Now, I've been playing quite a bit, and each game I get to around 40, 50 maybe. You know, I'm getting high rounds. And the specialist zombies give you more. Warden zombies give you more. You know, dogs give you a shit ton of XP. There's so much stuff to do to get XP, but yet it feels so slow. Now, it's not hard to do. It's just so slow. It's kind of like World War II, where, you know, there's a lot of specialist zombies, but... You know, they don't give out that much XP. Now, I think this should just go back to the way it was in, in World War II. Not World War II. In Black Ops 3. Where I think every primary kill was 50. Every headshot was 75. 
and every knife kill was 100. Or just do a double XP weekend and then I'll shut the fuck up. But as of right now, regular kills are 25, headshots are 37, and dog kills are 40. I don't know what kills, how much XP you get per, you know, like gladiator or uh, one of the lions or even one of the special zombies, one of the ones that zap you or anything. I haven't really done any testing on that, but still. And knives only give you 50, X, 50 XP. So honestly, you know, my strat for getting level ups would be going on the giant, getting a bowie knife, get as many fucking kills as I possibly could with the, bow with the bowie knife, put on sword play, it could last up till maybe round 30, getting one, getting one, one shot knives on double XP weekends would just be perfect, and then get as much headshots as I possibly can, okay, then reset. And it was very easy to get leveled up. And I understand they want to slow it down because last year it was so easy to get, not last year, but last zombie game, last zombie, you know, for Treyarch. It was very easy to get Master Prestige, you know, with Revelations and all these other maps that were very, very easy to get high rounds on. But I understand that. I just think that a lot of these maps, since you're not going to be able to rely on Deadwire, Cryo Freeze, you know, any of the, any specialists that you can think of for your secondary pack a bunch, you're not really going to be able to rely on that because it doesn't proc as much. It usually, usually back in the day, it would proc every like three or four shots. But in this game, after you do it once, it maybe won't proc for another like mag, which is good. I like that. I don't want people to rely on that fully. And yeah, it's just, I think that's what they're trying to do. But it's just so hard to get XP, especially since they haven't done any double XP weekends, and nor is there any way to get double XP for zombies. Now, I hope this weekend, it is Halloween weekend, and there's an event going on, so I'm get I'm 99% sure that a double XP weekend is going to happen, so hopefully they don't miss the ball and do double nebula plasm. I mean, I'm fine with that too, because I would love to stack up a bunch and just do a big opening for, for YouTube, but... Other than that, I have really no complaints about the zombies. Every map is very, very fun. I have not had a chance to play 5 or Classified, whatever you want to call it. But that's okay. I don't really want to play that map anyways. I didn't really like it in the you know, original game. So I don't really care. But yeah, every other map is fun. 9 is super duper cool. The only problem I have is there's too many special zombies coming out at once. But I feel like they can fix that very easily. Just make it so, you know not too many are coming out at once because you'll have like two gladiators and like four dogs and then there's a magma zombie on the right and then there's two electric guys and there's a toxic guy vomiting all vomiting all over you it's just a lot of, it's just a lot to handle and i think another reason another thing i have it's a very small thing i just think that they should down the amount of dogs that spawn in when you're playing multiples because when i was playing duos there were so many dogs coming in. There was more dogs coming in than zombies. And if I would have known that, that that dogs gave you 50 XP per kill, I would have been like, okay, who gives a shit? Then that's fine. That's give me more zombie, give me more dogs, you know. But I didn't know that. But still, it it's too many dogs. I don't know about squads, but I know for a fact in duos, it is so many dogs. And I play on casual. Now I think this would be a good addition. Is making it so. Casual, casual can stay the 25 for one kill, uh, for headshots 37, and for knife kills 50. That's fine. Stick it like that. Normal, it can be like Black Ops 3. Uh, hardcore, they can up the XP a little bit more. Maybe knife kills give you 150. Maybe headshots give you 100. Maybe uh, you know regular kills give you 75 because it's going to be harder and harder. And then realistic, I feel like knife kills should be 10, should be 20. Uh, Headshots could be 150, and regular kills could be 100, because nobody's going to get to, like, round 80 on Hardcore unless they're a god. Hardcore is very hard, but there's no XP difference in any of the modes. So there's really no reason to play on Hardcore or any of those modes unless you're doing a Dark Ops challenge, or if you just want to have a challenge. And, I mean, you know, for some people that's an incentive, but for me there's really no incentive to play that versus Casual. Now, I could play Hardcore. I could easily play Hardcore. Well, not easily, but you know what I mean. It, it wouldn't be that much harder. It's just, I think, if you're going to play on realistic, you should get some incentive other than, oh, yeah, you have bragging rights. Oh, I, I went to round 50 on 
realistic. Get get high, get higher than that, man. But yeah, that's all I have really problems with zombies. I haven't really had ran into any blue screen issues just because I don't do Easter. Excuse me, I've been talking so much, my mouth is dry. But uh, yeah, I haven't really had any problems with Easter eggs. I haven't. Really, I don't plan on doing any of the Easter eggs. I might do Blood of the Dead. I don't know. It depends. If there's like a really Easter, really easy Easter egg, then I'll do it. But as of right now, I don't plan on doing any of them. Uh, so I'll have a new video coming out today as well for guide on camo challenges for your zombies and showing you what camo challenges are and just you know tips and tricks for the one gun that I have. But most of them are going to be pretty much the same. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I have to say about zombies. And there's just one more problem I have with multiplayer and that is the spawns now TDM I've noticed that the spawns are pretty good if you sp if you push up a little bit too far yeah they're gonna push away it's gonna re it's gonna you know excuse me guys sorry but you know it's gonna make it a little bit harder on yourself because they're gonna flip spawns and flip spawns you know you can't push up too far but in domination you will just get trapped and trapped and trapped. I fucking hate it, dude. You will get trapped for days. Especially on Hardcore Domination. Don't even bother playing Hardcore Domination. It is just god-awful. So that's just my, you know, tips. You know, if I had any tips to leveling up right now, just do challenges, man. That's what I'm doing. I'm about to hit 53. I wish I would have grinded more during the double XP. But I didn't really enjoy the double XP. Back when, you know, the double XP was going on, I didn't really enjoy the game. But now I really fucking love it. And honestly, if they can fix these things, I'm not saying cater to me. And then, you know. But I'm sure a lot of people are having the same exact problems that I have. Maybe the only thing that not a lot of people are having a problem with is XP. Just because the zombie guys who are dedicated don't really care they're just gonna be playing anyways but I don't play too much zombies so I would like to hit master prestige I'm about to prestige I'm probably gonna turn on my stream in about five ten minutes and we're gonna finish off prestige but uh thank you guys for watching the video I really appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner and uh make sure you go check out my twitch I try to stream every day recently and also check out my twitter I post every time I'm live on twitch and have a fucking amazing day dude life is great have an amazing day